Hi, my name is Yang. I'm Daryl at DeFi.ai. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Summit Index in DeFi project. And you're also going to learn how to use DeFi's external knowledge base and our latest developer to DeFi plugin SDK. So in DeFi, you can use knowledge base to improve your response quality by adding context to large language model. You can import your private data from different data sources, and you can split your structured or unstructured data into chunks. These chunks can be embedded into vector storage, and you can use re-rank model or metadata to improve your retrieval result. So if you really notice, in our knowledge base, we added an external knowledge API here. Uh, this is for you to add any third party knowledge base solution like Lama Index and AWS Bedrock. So if you click on add, what you need is an API endpoint. So how do I get this? Let's use Lama Index as an example. So here we are in the cloud version of Llama Index, Llama Cloud. And in the index tool here, you can build a production-ready rack solution. So click on Create Index. You can configure your data source here. So here I'm going to use a Word file that has everything about TV show The Office Season 1, Episode 1. And you can also configure your data sync here, which is your vector database. So here I have my quadrant as my vector database. And also you can see my embedding model is ready, which is from OpenAI. And for the rest of these settings, I'm not going to touch them. Uh, I will just leave them as default and deploy this index. Once the index is built, we're going to say this endpoint URL here. Well we are not going to use it. That's because this endpoint is from Lama Index. And if you run a search, it will return like hundreds of objects and attributes. But if you want to use Lama Index in DeFi, all you need is your query as the input and the search result as the output. So what I'm going to do here is I will go back to DeFi and here click on plugins, and now you will be at our marketplace. Amazing, right? We made all these third-party tools available for you. You can just click on install and use whichever tools you want in your project. So let's go to extensions, and you will see we have the Llama Cloud here. Uh, there is a very detailed guidance on how to use it. So here, click on Install. And let's go to the Plugins page. Click on Llama, Llama Cloud. Uh, here, click Add Endpoint. Uh, give it a name. Um, uh, test. And for the API key, let's go back to Llama Index. You can generate your API key here. and paste it into here. OK, now I have my lemma test endpoint URL. Let's copy it and go to Knowledge Base, External Knowledge API, add, paste the URL here. Remember, you need to remove the slash retrieval route here and also give it a name. OK, now the external knowledge API is ready. Go to connect to an external knowledge base. Again, give it a name. For the external knowledge ID, again, go back to Lama Index. In the index here, you can see the different pipeline ID for your index. So I'm going to use this one and paste it into here. 
Now my Lama Cloud test to knowledge base is ready. Let's do a retrieval test. Since my data is about the TV show The Office, I'm going to ask what's the iconic scene in The Office season one, episode one. Now you will say the relevant chunks are returned. And what you need to do is connect your Lama Cloud test to knowledge base to your existing project. And now we have Lama index in your DeFi project. So if we go back to DeFi's marketplace, you can see we have AWS better knowledge base and Lama Cloud ready for you to use. And we are developing more and more knowledge base solutions like Vivid and Pincap. So in the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own knowledge base endpoint so you can use it in DeFi. Let's again use Lama index as an example. The official DeFi plugin in DeFi's marketplace is actually open source. You can visit the repository linked in the description. So what really happened is when we input the query in DeFi's knowledge base, the external knowledge base will then send a post request to our Lama Cloud plugin. The request body has knowledge ID, query, and retrieval settings, which are the top key and the score threshold. Lama Cloud will then set up the client, which takes your Lama Cloud API key, and the client will use your pipeline ID and query to run the search. Once we have the result, we will filter it with the score threshold and top key. And to make this result available in DeFi, we just need to take the metadata score, title, and content into your result. So to develop the plugin, the first thing you need to do is to set up the environment. You should download the DeFi plugin SDK from the link in the description and make sure the plugin daemon is in your directory. Let's use the following command to initialize your project. So give it the name Lama index. And for the description, I will just use Lama index. For the language, let's use Python. And since we are building an API endpoint, let's use extension for the template. And here you can choose different functionalities. So we're going to use endpoint. Use tab to select it. And now our Lama index directory is ready. You can see this is the endpoint plugin Skyfold. And since this file is the same as the one I just showed you, I will just go back to this. So in this Skyfold, you should leave your code in this Lama cloud.py file. This endpoint class will be initialized by this invoke function, which will take HTTP request, a values object which handles route and URL passing, and settings object which is for environment variable. Your endpoint class should always start with this invoke function and ends with response. And in this YAML file, you will tell your plugin which route you're going to use and what HTTP method you're going to handling. And in the YAML file under the group folder, you're going to tell DeFi marketplace what environment variable you're going to use for your endpoint. So here in our case, it's Lama Cloud API key. And in this manifest file, you're going to tell DeFi marketplace the version of your plugin, the name, label 
and the description. What's fascinating is you can actually use this .env file to locally debug your plugin. So here we have this remote install key. You can copy it from device marketplace here. And make sure all the dependencies in this requirements file are installed and you can run the command python dash m main. Now you can debug your plugin in DeFi here. So if we go back to the directory we just created, you can run this plugin package command. And now the Lama index plugin is packaged into a DeFi PKJ file. And move it to the desktop. Here, click on install plugin, local package file. And now your plugin is installed in DeFi and you can use whenever you want. I will keep make this kind of video to show you how to build your own plugin and how plugin feature can make AI agent development faster and easier. So please hit the subscription button and I will see you in my next video.